Lights, camera, action! This week, Frankie's come to York. And did you know that this station here was once the centre of Britain's railway network and once the largest station in Europe? Bothered? York City, club nickname, the Minster Men. And it's all because of that building there, the pucker, one and only York Minster. Proper naughty architecture. I'm only at the Jorvik Viking Centre, home to some of the largest collection of Viking remains in the whole country. And this is an animated ride that takes you through what it's like to live through Viking era. Refings! <laughs> I'm only at Coppergate, and this is what a famous street used to look like in Viking times. Go on, my son. Proper fit Viking treacle. As you can see, though, things have changed a little bit nowadays. Look at the state of this bloke's barnet. Rascal or what? I didn't know Robbie Savage was a Viking. Eesh. Cue random gag from random man in funny red hat. Go! What is the fastest cake in the world? I don't know, random. What is the fastest cake in the world? Gun! <laughs> well done! Bum bum! <laughs> I whip my whip my gates back and forth! I 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 whip my gates back and forth! I'm here at York's Chocolate Story, and this is Andrew who makes chocolate. Say hello, Andrew who makes chocolate. Hello, Andrew who makes chocolate. Good acting! He's just showing me how to make chocolate. First up, you get your mould, you fill it with lots of beautiful chocolate. You knock it out, you let it drip. Look at that. You leave it to set for 10 minutes. And here's one I made earlier. Bang it out, lovely. The shambles. No, not the production quality of this feature. This famous street here, one of Europe's most visited streets and once voted by Google as the most picturesque street in the whole of Britain. What a lovely part of the world this is, isn't it? Oh, hi, we're right classy bunch around here, Frankie. Love it, Margaret. The city walls. Sausages. Walls. Sausages. Walls. Sausages. Be quiet, random. I'm trying to talk about the York City walls. Over two miles in length and with nearly 2,000 years of history, making it some of the oldest walls in the old country. The legendary York City walls. Sausages! <laughs> Random cuts away on my Sandman Tom Jeff, the legend that is attempting to eat five kilos of York's famous chocolate in under five seconds for no apparent reason. Go! Five, four, three, two, one. He's failed! He's failed me! I'm finally here at Bootham Crescent, home of the famous York City Football Club. Let's have it! I know what time it is, you know what time it is. These legendary figures need no introduction, but I'm going to introduce you anyway. First up, we've got Luke O'Neill. He's a York City player, he's a defender. We're currently on loan from Burnley, must be pointed out, he's an extremely versatile player, but he's better at defence, as I've just said. And we've got Josh Carson. Josh Carson scored some pearls this season as a great goal scorer. He wanted me to say that he is a great scorer, isn't that right, Josh? Yes. Thanks, Josh. And lastly, we've got Michael Ingham. Michael Ingham, you'll know Michael Ingham. I know Michael Ingham. Sam knows Michael Ingham. You know Michael Ingham because he's the number one goalie. He's an all line international and he's purposely has got loads of banter. He wanted to put out, he's got nothing to do with the song. Ing 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 ing